Harry's wife. I'm leaving, Baldy Harry. Hello, and with all the regal splendor befitting the royal family, we extend our gracious welcome to the Royal Family News Channel. It's with immense pleasure that we invite you to once again embark on a journey into the enchanting realm of royalty. Let's move on to the video. As I have previously mentioned, the interaction between a narcissist, Harry's spouse, and the primary source victim who maintains a close emotional relationship with Harry is characterized by seduction. He is bestowed with a special time in his life during which he is recognized and admired as a distinguished individual, both in literal and symbolic terms. He is generously offered an abundance of fiery excitement as she willingly indulges his desires, and she possesses an irresistible allure. She compliments him, saying he is truly remarkable. She hangs on every word she hears, as if it were the profound wisdom of the wisest person alive. She expresses to him that he is enjoyable, he captivates her with his intellect, and she finds all his jokes hilarious. She shares his preferences and avoids what he dislikes. She assures him of her everlasting love, unwavering protection, and deep comprehension of his being. Old ginger bollocks fell prey to the irresistible allure. However, the golden period is always fleeting. It is consistently misplaced. In broad terms, we can consider the ideal period to be approximately 6 to 18 months. The length of the text may vary, either shorter or slightly longer. And just like clockwork, the sustained devaluation appears, following the pattern of day turning into night. Sometimes, there exists a zone of unfamiliarity at the start. Check out my video discussing that topic. And subsequently, as a component of this continuous depreciation, the narcissist proceeds to engage in actions that belittle the victim. Engaging in dishonest behavior, insulting, and possibly inflicting physical harm upon that individual. Making false allegations against them. Allegations arising suddenly, involved in repetitive dialogues. Intelligent alternative slash sophisticated tactics involve maliciously exploiting past events to undermine and manipulate individuals, making empty promises of improvement following inappropriate conduct, continuously criticizing and diminishing their worth, invalidating their feelings, and the list goes on. And it is an unpredictable journey. There is initially a demeaning behavior, but then a period of relief known as the golden period resurfaces. And subsequently, there was further depreciation. Move in different directions, such as pushing, pulling, going up, and going down. Following that, the potential escape of the victim may occur, disconnection could ensue, or the roller coaster like situation persists until one of the parties concludes. Nevertheless, considering the extent of their relationship up until now, it is evident that Harry is currently experiencing a prolonged period of devaluation. We have observed clear examples of this action, such as the blatant devaluation of someone who chooses not to give him a kiss during the basketball event. Or, in certain cases, she has withdrawn her support for him. It can be inferred, based on my research and the timing, that he will experience a continuous decline in value. This is the outcome one can expect when engaging with a narcissist at the stage they have reached in their relationship. There is absolutely no deviation from this. In each and every relationship I have been a part of. Previously, my pattern has consistently involved transitioning from seduction to prolonged devaluation. This applies universally to all interactions between a narcissist and their primary romantic partner. There are various ways in which the sustained devaluation can significantly vary, although its presence is evident. However, it seems that the Prince of Pink Pancakes, also known as Old Ginger Bollocks, with his thinning hair, is about to be excluded because of his baldness, or as the Geordies would put it, because he's a baldy. He possesses a baldy nappa. Why was I banned? However, the news has not been brought to our attention by the respected individuals of Geordieland. No, it is located more to the north. Sure, here's a smart paraphrase, all right, the current situation. It is the newspaper called the Scottish Daily Express. According to royal commentator Douglas Dickey, 
there is speculation that jealous Harry's wife may end her marriage to Prince Harry and pursue a relationship with an individual who possesses a full head of hair. This prediction suggests that the reason behind her potential decision could stem from feelings of jealousy or envy. Before diving into the specifics of the individual responsible for these statements, it is worth considering if such behavior aligns with narcissistic tendencies. On one hand, it could be plausible, while on the other hand, it may not be entirely accurate. The thinning of someone's hair on the top is not indicative of detachment. However, the reason for disengagement can be attributed to one of five factors. You are no longer an operational device as you have experienced a breakdown. You have inflicted significant harm upon the narcissist. You have revealed the true extent of the narcissist's publicity. You are beginning to pose a challenge in terms of control. One frequent occurrence is when the narcissist has already found someone else, who is perceived as superior to you, leading to your replacement. Therefore, one of those five factors will lead to disengagement. A fresh individual has successfully undergone the test to become the primary source of emotional support for the narcissist. As a result, you have been replaced, causing significant harm to the narcissist. You have led to the narcissist being exposed. As a result, you have become insignificant to them, as they feel that you have seen through their facade and are challenging their control. These are the only five reasons for this outcome. As a result, individuals who are experiencing hair loss do not cause narcissists to sever ties. It is possible that Harry's wife is exploring potential replacements and has been building relationships with wealthy individuals who possess luxurious hair. No spots of hair loss. Difficult to penetrate, providing ample space for her to maneuver her claws within. This isn't the cause for her detachment from Harry. However, a possibility is that she could compare Harry to this new person, who resembles a prince charming with voluminous hair, and assert that one of the reasons she ended things with Harry is because he was losing hair and she has a dislike for bald men. It is quite probable that at some point, Harry has mentioned his thinning hair and male pattern baldness. Initially, she would have been in favor of it, considering that when he brings up this topic during the golden period, he is portrayed positively. Due to his outstanding qualities, she will naturally react with encouragement and positivity towards him. However, when he is being devalued, it is strategically employed to his disadvantage. Harry, when are you planning to address the issue of your thinning hair? It concerns me that you haven't taken any action yet. You're neglecting your own well-being. You ought to give it a try to dress up similarly to your brother. He looks much more stylish in it. As a result, it is employed to his disadvantage. She is understanding and encouraging about his hair loss when it is painted white. Once he is coated in black paint. No, she is not. She manipulates him with it. She mocks him about it. At some moment of detachment, she might communicate to him that one of the factors contributing to her decision of ending their relationship is his baldness. Superficial absolutely, however, that is not the true cause behind it. The true cause for her decision to separate from him likely revolves around one of the earlier mentioned disengagement triggers. However, the narcissist lacks awareness of these being among the five motives behind their actions. Harry's spouse would never consider the idea that because of your increasing stubbornness, you are gradually becoming uncontrollable, and as a result, you may be dismissed in the near future. Her lack of self-awareness prevents her from recognizing this. Rather, it will provide her with a multitude of alternative justifications. An example of this would be how we have drifted away from each other. You no longer pay attention to what I say. I am unable to tolerate the manner in which you mistreat me. I have a concern about the presence of your diminishing carpet. Sometimes, narcissists will concoct the flimsiest of excuses to explain the end of a relationship. In some cases, the explanation given is more believable and plausible. However, it implies that Harry will be abandoned on the roadside because his wife desires someone with hair. Many argue that the state is not the main cause for disengagement, but it could serve as an explanatory factor for the real reason behind it. However, 
it is essential to determine the source of this information and the reasons behind it. According to a royal commentator, it is expected that Harry's spouse will eventually separate from Prince Harry. I concur with that viewpoint since he is taking a courageous step. As I mentioned earlier, I hold a different viewpoint on the matter. The Duke of Sussex playfully mentioned his brother William's hair loss in his memoir, Spare, which was published in January. However, numerous spectators observed Harry's receding hairline during the coronation ceremony on Saturday, where he was present by himself. Megan Kelly, a well-known American talk show host, who has been openly critical of Harry and his wife, believes that it was appropriate for justice to be served as Harry crossed a boundary by discussing William's hair. Furthermore, her insinuation suggested that it might exert strain on the future of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's relationship. During an interview with Dan Wooten on GB News, Kelly expressed her disapproval of the disrespectful comment targeted towards William. I mean, it's no secret that William is experiencing hair loss. Moreover, it is common knowledge that there were various medications available for William to preserve his hair, should he have desired to do so. He lacks the necessary vanity. According to her, it is likely that the Princess of Wales has undergone extensive treatments involving Botox and fillers presently. However, the Sussexes approach life differently compared to this couple, as they embody their unique identity. She stated that Harry's actions towards his brother were inappropriate and it exemplifies the intense jealousy that we had just been discussing. Here is yet another illustration. Why bring up his receding hairline? Why tease him about something that he might be sensitive about? Even if you are aware of the possibility of experiencing the same outcome. Clearly, the mention of this is due to the fact that his wife is manipulating him in order to attack William and tarnish his reputation through Harry. It is widely believed that William is the one who successfully escaped her influence. Megan Kelly confidently expressed that justice has been served at the perfect moment for the upcoming coronation. Harry's wife will have to deal with this issue for a few more years, but once she leaves him and finds someone else, it is likely to be a wealthy hedge fund manager who has a complete head of hair. Harry is going to deeply regret his actions. So, Megan Kelly has hinted at the possibility of ending their relationship due to his baldness. It is highly probable that she will end the relationship with him. However, the cause behind it does not originate from the fact that he is evading the toll fee. However, it is plausible that her narcissism is employed as part of the rationale against him. Our video is up to here. Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section. As usual, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might find it interesting. And before you leave, if you haven't already, click the subscribe button to stay updated with all the latest content from the Royal Family News Channel. Thanks for joining us, have a wonderful day, and I'll be returning soon in upcoming videos.